Today we're going to show you how to take care of your woolen sweaters. There can be a number of things which can happen to your sweaters throughout wearing or through storing them. And I'm going to show you today a number of ways that you can look after issues from peeling, which is balling up on woolen sweaters, or hanger marks, which can be on the shoulders. Sometimes when people hang them for too long, you can have a small lip part that sticks out. Um, and then also coming to the end, showing you how to wash them. The best way to wash your woolen sweaters is to make sure they don't shrink or peel in the wash. So we'll start off with, with the hanger marks. If you can see here, sometimes people decide to hang their garments and it can lead to a little bit of stretching, but that's not a problem. The best way to look after them is to get an iron. If you put the iron on the linen setting on steam, it will really look after the jumper. So what you would do, you would get the, the exposed area where it's stretched out and you'd iron over it. You can iron over it straight, or if you want to put it back to its original position, maybe flatten it out a little bit to make sure that you can iron that area. And what it will do, it's like a dry cleaning away, and it puts it back to its original shape. Now, that's not only do you iron out to get the, the stretch marks, but you can iron out also to get crease marks out from wearing or from folding, and it really makes the jumper look pristine. As I said before, it's effectively like giving it a dry clean. Sometimes I just iron my sweaters instead of washing them, and that way the iron kills all the germs and also makes the jumper look brand new again once you've ironed it to get rid of all the crease marks and all the, even the smells can come out of it from the heat of the steam. Another issue that can arise with your woolen pullovers is you can get stains on them. Maybe it can be tomato sauce or chili or anything that it may be. Instead of washing it every time, sometimes you may just wish to clean that area. Now, it's not encouraged to rub on a woolen garment, but in this instance, where there can be a small mark, I like to get it a stain remover, which you often spray before you wash things, and you just spray the given area, and you just spot clean it. Dampen the towel a little bit with your finger, and just rub that area a few times. It, will, it should get the stain out. The other thing, if it does cause a little bit of pilling, that brings me to my next prop issue. I use this Philips Linked Remover. So what this is, it's like a suction vacuum with a blade inside, but it protects the garment. It's got a, a little mesh on the front. And what you would do, you switch it on with the batteries and you put it on the area that's got pilling or if you cause a little bit of pilling from the washing and it, vac it sucks it up like a vacuum and shaves off that extra part. It won't damage the garment because it's got that protection mesh between it. I like to do all of my cleaning and all of my work on an iron board. I find it's a flat surface, so it doesn't, it enables you to put the garment flat on the, on the board, and it doesn't cause any marks or any ability to, to, to damage the garment, both with the depiller or with the iron. Being a flat surface is very, very important. I can show you on another garment, this is an old one of mine, because most of our garments last a lifetime but you know sometimes through washing many many times you do get areas where it may not remain looking so new so what happens you just get it here you use the depiller or lint remover you can call it whatever you want they're really inexpensive i buy these on ebay for about uh, i think they're about 10 or 11 dollars so quite inexpensive and very very effective they are uh, battery operated, so if they start to, uh, to die after a little bit, you just change the batteries and it gives it the full force again. But if I show you, you just go over certain areas and it really makes the garment look fresh again. I, I often encourage, even in store with customers, if the customer comes in with a garment looking a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit, old and worn out, I often do it, and it's really easy to do whilst it's on the person as well, especially if they've got a bit of a tummy. <laughs> but you see, you do that, and within just a few moments, you've got, that's how much, uh, that's how much 
lint we've gotten off the garment. So that looks a lot better when the garment's like that. Again, to freshen up the garment or to get rid of hanger marks with the iron, make sure there's water in the iron when you put on the linen setting because that's the steam setting. You go over it and it flattens everything out. It makes it look brand new, gets rid of all the creases, all the hanger marks and really looks a lot better. Um, the other thing to mention, there is obviously a time when you've got to wash it. Um, when you do wash a woolen garment or wool with cashmere or wool with possum, um, always put on cold settings in the washing machine. If they have a wool wash, that's preferred as well. And remember to put limited stuff in the machine with it. Don't put towels and other fluffy things that can cause uh, remnants from the other garment to go onto the wool because that's when it looks bad. Always limited stuff. I often put my knits in the machine with, uh, with either socks, underpants, or you know, fine t-shirts like this, but nothing, nothing too, too thick, too heavy, or too fluffy.